Whether you're an equipment operator or a pedestrian, no matter where on the terminal you work, you must be alert at all times. When you do the same job over and over, it becomes routine, and you may become complacent and forget to focus on performing the task safely. This behavior can put you and others at risk. Don't let this happen to you. The incident you were about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. Stan, a top loader operator, and Tina, a new clerk on the job, are working in the yard stacking containers. Stan and Tina have radio communications for every move. Stan backs out of the stack after placing a container onto the stack. Tina has her back to the top loader as she refers to her clipboard. Therefore, she's not aware she is in the danger zone of the top loader. The top loader strikes and backs over Tina, killing her instantly. The incident you were about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. Arnell, a yard tractor operator, is working on the dock. He's in line to get a discharge container. Matt, the dock boss, approaches Arnell, hands him paperwork, and directs Arnell to return to the yard to pick up a container. Matt turns and walks away. Arnell makes a U-turn to the left. The chassis Arnell is pulling strikes Matt and knocks him down. Matt is run over by the chassis. He dies later that day at the hospital. When operating a yard tractor in a terminal, you must be alert at all times. Always scan the environment for possible hazards. Be proactive. Take the steps necessary to protect yourself and others. A tractor driver was working against a vessel transporting containers discharged from a ship to parking slots in the yard. He was backing a load between two 40-foot containers. He maneuvered the yard tractor into a 90-degree angle, or jackknife position, with his attached load. The chassis and container overturned, lifting the tractor off the ground. The tractor broke free and slammed back on its front wheels, throwing the driver forward with great force into the steering column and cab interior. He later died at the hospital. Terminals are busy, fast-paced, always in motion. You must be alert and aware of your surroundings at all times. Scan the environment for hazards. Take steps to protect yourself and others. Container cranes are large, powerful, and fast. Use extreme care when you work with and around them. Three lashers from the lashing gang were disembarking the ship for a break. They walked down the gangway and onto the pier, between the bull rail and crane legs, while container loading operations continued in the hatch just aft of the ship's deckhouse. The crane operator had just landed a container onto the ship's hatch cover. The container automatically locked into the deck fittings, which secured the container to the hatch cover. The operator then hoisted the spreader beam, unaware that he had not disengaged the spreader from the container, which was now locked to the hatch cover. As the container was lifted, it also lifted the hatch cover, which had several other containers on the hatch. As the hatch cover was raised, the inshore container straddling the hatch cover and the pedestal platform was twisted outboard, broke its deck securing twist locks, and rolled off the ship. Two of the lashers managed to jump out of the way. However, the container struck the third lasher, killing her instantly. 